polybag plants, cup plants or budded stumps of selected clones may be planted. For budded stumps, some surface soil from the plant points may be removed to accommodate lateral roots. Using a crowbar, a planting cavity is made to a depth equal to the length of the taproot and put some loose soil. The stump is then carefully inserted into the cavity so as the tip of the taproot to pierce into the soil. Loose soil is put around the lateral roots and pressed firmly. By using crowbar, press the soil strongly towards the stump. The bud patch should be above the soil level towards north or east direction. Shade may be provided with bamboo baskets or coconut leaves. Only the grafted bud shall be allowed to grow. Other sprouts if any should be removed. In cases where the sprouting of the budded graft is delayed, make a ring just above the bud on the stock plant with a knife. Thus, the sleeping buds could be made to sprout. Polybag plants should have at least two whorls of matured leaves at the time of planting. Planting polybag plants would be advantageous. Vacancy filling could be avoided and all the plants would grow uniformly. As the immaturity period would be reduced, the cultivation cost would be lesser and the trees would attain tappable girth earlier. Dressing of the roots if grown out of the bags should be done. A planting hole bigger than the size of the bag is made in the refilled pit. The bottom of the bag is cut and inserted into the planting hole without disturbing the soil in it. A vertical cut is made along its full length of the bag and pulled upwards and carefully removed. The hole is also filled with soil. For planting with root trainer plants, make a small pit at the center of the refilled pit just to accommodate the root core of the cup plant. Empty cup or spade can be used for making the pit. Invert the cup plant and give a gentle pat on the rim of the cup to detach the plant from the container. Insert the cup plant into the pit carefully and firm the soil around the root system. Planting should be done when the soil contains enough moisture and there is sufficient rain. The transportation of cup plants from one place to another or to the location of planting is very easy compared to polybag plants. Vacancy filling, if required, should be done with cup plants or polybag plants in the first year itself. <laughs>